90 second website builder does allow you to create web pages without having to know how to work with HTML code. However, it does also give you a way to work with code if you want to or if you need to. Hi again, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder and I'm gonna show you how to use a couple of tools in the software that allow you to paste in or type in snippets of code into your page if you ever need to. Sometimes you get code snippets from a third party and you wanna put them into your code or paste them in there and you can do that. First of all, you should understand the structure of a website as far as the code goes. This illustration on the page will show you kind of the basics of how code is structured on a web page. Wherever you see these um, greater than, less than signs like this, that's called an opening tag. So when we have this, these tags like HTML tag, and then we have down at the bottom a forward slash HTML inside those brackets, that's called a closing tag. So we have an opening tag and we have a closing tag. An HTML page is basically structured in three sections. The whole page is considered to be inside the HTML tag from the open to the close. And then there's two other sections within a page. There's the head tags. So you have an opening head tag and a closing head tag. And all of the code that should go into the head tag part of the page would go between those. And then all of the code that goes in between the body section would go between the open body tag and the closed body tag. Now the type of code that goes in there just depends on what it does. The stuff that goes into a body tag is typically what we would call positional code. Things like the images and the text and the stuff that's visual that's positional on the page. Whereas the code that goes into the head tag are more settings and scripts and things that are more complex that some of the objects in the body tag might even refer to up in the head tag. This is a very crude rudimentary explanation of code, but it will kind of help you know uh, when you go to pasting code why there are different sections of the page. So now let's go look at the tools in 90 Second Website Builder that allow you to do this. One of the tools that you have inside the toolbox is simply something called HTML. When you click on it and draw a box, it gives you the opportunity to put code anywhere you want on your page. You can just draw the box anywhere and then double click on it. And then this brings up a window that allows you to paste in any code that you want to here. I'll show you some examples here in a second. You can call this something if you want. This is just for your own sake. So you'll recognize this object later while you're in design mode. You put whatever you want in here so that as you're working with it on your canvas, you can call it what you want. Also, this tool allows you to put in different types of code. Now, I'm going to tell you that probably 95% of the time you're going to leave this as it is. You're going to use the div to set the position and size of the HTML. Unless you understand div tags, you're not going to want to change this. If you're a more advanced user and you know that your code already contains its own div tags, then you'll know to switch. But again, in most cases, you'll want to do this. Now, if you're wanting to put your code in a different part of the page, other than the body section, which is what this tool normally does, then you can also do this. But I'm also gonna show you another way to do this anyway. So that's why I say most of the time, like 95% of the time, you're gonna leave this and also leave the overflow on default. Also, you can either paste your code in from here, you know, copy paste it, or if you have code that's on another HTML page or even in a TXT, a text document, you can import it into here by clicking the import button and finding it on your computer's file system and simply import that either a TXT file or an HTML file if you want to import the code. In most cases, again, you're just gonna go ahead and copy paste that. And then when you do, your code's in place. Let me give you an example of why you would do this. I'm going to go get some codes from my autoresponder service. Okay, I'm back. I went to another website and I got a snippet of code that I want to use on my web page from my autoresponder service. It's an opt-in form. And so let's say I want to put it on this page. All I'm going to do is double click on it and I'm going to paste the code right here. Here's the code that I got from a third party. And all I have to do is click OK. Now, when I go to preview it, because I have to preview it to see this, since it's code, it's not going to show anything in design mode. So I have to preview, so I'm clicking F5, to see what that code does. So here's what this code did. So I got this code from Aweber, my autoresponder service, and what it does is it creates an opt-in form. And so here it is. And the reason why it appears here is because this is where I pasted that on my page. So if I was to move this around, it's going to be positional. It's going to appear where I position it on the page. We're actually putting code into the body of the website. So that's one example. Another example of needing to paste in code might be if you had, say, an affiliate banner. So let me go get another one. 
okay, so now I'm back and I went to ClickBank, which is an affiliate network, and I found a product that I want to use um, somebody's banner. And so I'm going to just paste this right here. I'm going to, I drew a box, an HTML box. I'm going to paste this right here. And it's real simple code. And what this is going to do is it's going to place the banner that they provided me to promote their product. A lot of times affiliate programs will give you affiliate banners that you can paste into your website. And that's what this is. So let's click F5 to see what it looks like. Okay, so there's the first one I had, and here comes the banner. Sometimes it takes a few seconds to load. There it is. Okay, so this is the banner code. Now, something you may notice that the shape of this banner was not the shape of the box that I drew. That was true for this other one, too. The reason for that is because the dimensions of these objects are going to be normally set in the code. So you want to experiment with that. You want to get an idea of where this should appear on your page based on the object that's coming in. You may not have control over the size of the object because it's controlled by the code itself. But that's basically how you paste in code from a third party by using the HTML tool. Let me show you another way to do this because you also have access to the HTML code for your page by using what's called the page HTML function. And you can do that by right clicking on any empty part of the canvas and clicking on page HTML. Now what that does is it brings up this kind of a dialog where we can paste code in rather than in a drag and drop way like we do with the HTML tool. Here we can paste in code into specific sections of the page. Remember we talked about that head tag section. So any code that I paste in here is going to go into the head tag. So for example, if I wanted to use Google Analytics and I got a snippet of code from my Google Webmasters account, they require me to put it in the head tags of the page. And so this is where I would do that. And I know that I'm getting it in the right spot. Or if I want to put something inside the body tag, I would do that. Same thing as using the HTML tool. But what if you want to put a piece of code in a very specific spot, like right after the first opening body tag? You can do that right here. Or right before the body tag closes. In other words, the very last line of the body section. That's what you would do here. Or at the end of the page. Or just inside the top HTML tag, because this is the opening tag. So this tool gives you some very specific locations where you can paste in and place your code. And all you do is paste it in, click OK, and it's there. So while it's normal to build your website, a 90-second website builder, without ever having to deal with code, the good news is, if you want to, you can. And you can use either one of these tools to paste the code in that you need to paste in as you're building your websites in 90 Second Website Builder.